Hello and welcome to the 2022 spring semester. As I do every year, I've just released a letter briefing our community on the state of the university. I hope you'll read it in full. The letter reflects on some of the unprecedented challenges that Princeton has faced and the extraordinary achievements that it has enjoyed in the past 12 months. COVID-19, of course, affected much that we did in 2021 and will shape the coming months as well. But Princeton is the great university that we know today precisely because of its willingness to think deeply at critical moments about how best to understand the core elements of its mission and how to extend them into a changing future. And fall semester brought home the value of our mission in many ways. Not the least of these was the Nobel Prize Committee's decisions to honor not one, not two, but five members of the Princeton family the winners eloquently describe the importance of curiosity-driven research and the character-building impact of a broad liberal arts education. And in 2022, we will be leaning in to those values. Two new residential colleges will open in August, allowing us to say yes to more undergraduate applicants, to enhance more lives, and deliver more impact for the world. But that's not all. After breaking ground just a few weeks ago, work will continue throughout 2022 on a new development just south of Lake Carnegie. It will house graduate students and postdoctoral researchers. It will feature multiple athletic facilities, and it will allow more projects to strengthen New Jersey's innovation ecosystem. We're also laying the groundwork to ensure the sustainability of these historic projects. When I say sustainability, I mean that both in the form of carbon neutral heating and cooling sources for our buildings and in the form of human infrastructure. Last year, Princeton mounted a remarkably successful recruitment effort to attract more diverse faculty as part of our national reckoning with racism. That diversity is essential to our excellence. To achieve our aspirations, we must seek and support talent from every group and every sector of society. The new undergraduate colleges, the Lake Campus development, and other building projects constitute one of the most intense periods of growth in Princeton's history. They have benefited from early contributions to the university's new fundraising campaign called Venture Forward. Fortunately, this year's endowment returns give us an opportunity, and indeed a responsibility, to consider how new dimensions of excellence and impact might advance the university's mission. As part of that effort, we are exploring multiple ways to improve student support and financial aid packages. That work is ongoing, but we have already announced that Princeton's graduate stipends in all fields will increase by an average of 25% next year. Again, I hope you'll read my letter in full for more details about these and other audacious bets on human talent that we at Princeton hold dear. Those bets have enabled Princeton to serve the nation and humanity throughout this university's history. I am confident that they will continue to do so for generations to come.